Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy again with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I am still working on the Zodiacs. For those of you who aren't familiar with my new format, um, I've been really trying to juggle a lot of different creative projects right now. So I had so many of you tell me that you missed the Zodiacs, but the Zodiacs are so time consuming for me. So I'm just going to constantly cycle them all right and whenever i have the time to do one so i've made these readings timeless anytime spirit brings you or draws you to the thumbnail or to the topic or whatever uh there's a message there for you allow your higher self to really kind of uh sit in the energy of knowing that that if you're here you're here for a reason and again there it's not for any single month or time frame or full moon new moon we're not putting any kind of a energetic stamp on it it's timeless okay anytime you want to watch it and there will be an extended the extended is going to be made available to you on my patreon it's four dollars and 44 cents a month it is a paid monthly subscription but for less than five dollars you get all of my extendeds um to cross watch to your heart's content and like I said, um, because this is a timeless reading, how you will be able to find your extended reading over on Patreon is it will have the exact same title and thumbnail, okay? So we're gonna get into your reading. I am here to do the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and of course, all cross watchers are welcome. It is a timeless relationship reading, and we are looking at your person's energy um, in this relationship. So whoever is on your heart and mind, we're going to take a look at their overall overarching energy. We're going to take a look at their thoughts. Well, actually, I might, I might, I'm a little guided to look at their current circumstances, too. I don't know if I'll do it first or, or after we do the other um, intention work. But we're going to do their thoughts about you in this situation. Their feelings towards you in this situation. Their intentions towards you in this situation. Their next inspired action towards you. And then we're going to possibly go from there by looking at their current circumstances in their own life. Um, external to you like you know I'm going to assume that if you're asking about them you're not in union with them you could be in separation if you are in a relationship with this person and you're just trying to figure out what's going on with them then that'll be very helpful too because you'll be able to get maybe an insight into their internal workings their internal mindset right so let's just get into it Dear Mother, Father, God, please come into this space and bless it. Make it holy ground. Surround me in the white light of love and protection. Cast my ego to the outside so that I may be a clear channel for spirit messages. And we are asking for the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. And this is about their person spirit. What is the current energy? Well, that was quick. So we have the Five of Swords, but in this deck, this is the Osho Zen Tarot. It says comparison. All right, before I channel your message, I want to get um, the energy on the table. Let's see, what deck do I want to use? Let's use the Rider Waite. Spirit, clear the energy of this deck from all previous energies. We would like to tap into the energy of my viewer for the sign of Capricorn, my viewer's person on their heart and mind. What are their current thoughts about my viewer? What are their current thoughts about my viewer? So we got the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, the 
The Four of Pentacles is about closed energy. It's lack mentality. It's um, it's feeling in scarcity. You know, the four, fours are about stability and security, but this is not a stability or security. We don't have one, two, three, four on the ground like you do in the Four of Wands, right? This is somebody who is. Possessive. I'm hearing possessive. Your person is feeling possessive of you. Protective. Now it could be about themselves. So we're, we're going to see what are their thought or their feelings towards you. For Capricorn spirit, what is their feelings? So we've got the three of wands. So this is future energy. This is manifesting. This is looking for um, a blessing or some sort of expectation to come toward them. So, you know, how they're feeling right now is they're feeling hopeful for the future. But it's not rooted in current energies. It's like they're looking out over the future and with expectation expectation that something is going to change or shift in this dynamic that is going to um, bring in growth, bring in opportunity is what I'm hearing. What are their intentions toward my viewer? What are their intentions? Look at that, two of wands. So we went from the three of wands to the two of wands. Their intentions are in the future. They're at a crossroads. They're trying to figure it out. A lot of times the two of wands is when somebody has experienced a change in their current dynamic and that change kind of requires them to look at taking an adventure, a new adventure, a new way of doing things. Hmm, and what is their next inspired action in this current timeline? Their next inspired action in the current timeline, Spirit. Ooh, Spirit's being picky on this one. This one, Spirit, what is their inspired action in the current energies okay how do you want to receive all right the hanged man yeah and the bottom of the deck is the eight of swords hmm so it would appear that something is going on with your person now it could be financial duress right it could be um, not feeling worthy of something, uh, or maybe they just want to, they're not feeling capable. I mean, I'm kind of seeing this like one, two, three, four, right? They need a plan and I'm not sure yet but I will get to the bottom of it, what the plan is all about. But they, I mean, they're not acting because they're trying to decide how to manifest but they're doing it from a lack mentality which automatically puts a hang up on the manifestation. Let's clarify, see if we can get more information here about Capricorn's person. Capricorn's person, please. In the extended, we're going to really go deeper into clarifying this. Um, we're going to get channeled messages from your person's higher self and from spirit. And we are also going to get love songs. We're gonna use my new sacred soulmate or, uh, oracle deck 
to kind of see uh, what phase of the relationship they're, they're in or that the two of you are in. And so it's going to be a nice extended and we're gonna really get to the bottom of things. All right, Spirit, can you clarify this Four of Pentacles? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for their thoughts about my viewer? Yeah, see, I, I'm telling you, there's been an event in this person's life. You know, the Five of Swords can be competition, it can be um, arguing. Fives are, are stressors. They're, they bring chaos to a situation that needs to change in order to create change. It's kind of this energy. It's like um, when you're in the Five energy, it's all about, and by the way, we got one, two, three, four, and five. Now this is not an ace, but I'm just seeing, you know, it almost looks like a one with the hangman hanging there. So Capricorn, something has happened that has destabilized your person in this connection. Because fours are about stability and security, especially the four of pentacles. And the tower is, is about things that are built on a faulty foundation. And so maybe you guys never really grounded this in a very stabilized way, or this could be in their own personal dynamic. That's why I'm gonna take a look at their current situation too, um, briefly before we take it to the extended. But your person is not feeling stable at the moment, or they're not thinking that that your relationship is stable. And this tower could be anything in the extended. I'm gonna find out exactly what it is. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna say that your person, when they think about you, they think that this is, that, that something has happened that has created instability in the relationship with you or their own personal life that is creating change. And it's not comfortable. Five of Swords in the Tower is not a comfortable energy to be in. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here for Capricorn's person? Why is the Three of Wands here in their heart space? All right, I'm not taking those in reverse unless they come out. Let's toss them. All right. I told you it's a manifestation card. Stop, kitty. I don't want to play. Every time I make a video, this cat thinks it's playtime. She keeps attacking me. And the Four of Cups. Well, this person isn't happy. This is apathy. This is boredom. This is um, my no thank you card. It's like this person is saying... I really don't like I'm gonna I need one more for that four of cups one more spirit because this could be that they're bored with you <laughs> and they're trying to manifest something better in the future you know maybe maybe you you broke up and they're looking to manifesting something that's more emotionally fulfilling um, or it could be that they feel like they missed an opportunity for the future with you. And so they're trying to manifest another opportunity. There's that five of swords again. You could have, you could have turned this person down. Or maybe they're leaving another home situation or a job or something that was foundationally um it needed to come down maybe they're waiting for their life to become better and maybe they're needing to leave something or someone else behind that's a very conflict conflict filled environment 
That's why I said, I don't know why I didn't do this for the other uh, zodiacs, but I feel called to look at your person's current situation. Bottom of the deck, by the way, peeking at me is the justice card. So, you know, maybe they just uh, had some sort of uh, financial difficulty or a divorce or some legal matter or I'm not sure. Tell me about the two of wands in their intentions. Why is the two of wands their current intentions, spirit? We've got the ace of swords. See, this person's trying to gain clarity. They're trying to see the truth of a situation. Or they want to speak the truth. But it's with the intention of, it's, this is a decision. It's a two to the ace of swords. This person's trying to make a decision, but they need to know something. Something is eluding them that they need to know in order to kind of move forward. Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Wow, that was quick. Can I get one more on that, please? the hangman there's the hangman in the opposite so how do you want to receive oops how do you want to receive yeah it came out that way i think they wonder if you're their soulmate they're wondering oops oh my god i'm so sorry guys Hold on, got a fixed camera. It came out of the... All right. I am so sorry. Didn't mean to do that. So this is what I'm getting so far. All right. When they think about you, they're thinking about some sort of of a disruption that happens either in their own personal life or in this relationship that kind of brought it to the ground it wasn't built on a solid foundation and like I said this could be in their own personal life and that's why they're thinking about it when they think about you because maybe they want to rebuild a solid foundation under their own feet getting them away from whatever this five of swords energy is in order to, because we have two aces, or no, we don't. Well, it's the ace of cups, but it's in the four of cup energy. Um, I saw the cloud and was thinking the ace. But this is what's going on. When your person thinks of you, they think that, th that there's been a disruptor. Somehow, some way that has destabilized their personal life or their relationship with you. And with the Five of Swords, it could have been an argument or a fight, or it could have been someplace else in their life where there was an argument or a fight um, in, in a way that they, they are now feeling like they want to manifest something different. This is change, remember. With the Magician and the Four of, Pen or the Four of Cups, there's apathy here. I'm bored. I'm not happy. This isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I, this isn't what I thought it would be. But there's hope here. There's hope to manifest their ships coming in. And it's in their heart space. So their truest desire when it comes to you is to kind of manifest a better outcome. Maybe they're waiting, you know, if there was a fight, there, maybe they're waiting for an opportunity to clarify or to speak their truth. Or um, This could be cord cutting, too. I mean, you guys have to let me know. If you recently had a big breakup with this person and, and you feel like it's over, they might be thinking it's over, too. They might be, you know, like, well, I wasn't real happy in this anyhow. I'm just going to manifest my way out of it. 
you're going to have to use your own discernment here because I'm going to pick it apart over in the extended. But here, this is what I've got. Stop. Sorry, I'm talking to the cat. All right, clarify. Do I want to clarify again? I think they're trying to decide whether or not Because this is reminiscing. This is like childhood sweetheart. It's a very sweet, tender, loving connection. It's somebody who feels like home. It, but it's past energy. And they're, this is their inspired action. Their inspired action is to gain clarity somehow on their connection with you. I think they're wondering if you're their soulmate. You know, maybe this is something... A, 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 abstract concept to them you know um especially if it's a masculine it doesn't have to be but if it is sometimes uh soulmate stuff is a little bit abstract to them they're they're more grounded in what they think is practical i'm gonna lock you up cat sorry um, yeah, all right, real quick, Spirit, let's use one more deck. So, by the way, on the bottom of the deck was the Queen of Wands, so there's definitely attraction here. There could have been a third-party situation. Sometimes she's my mistress card, but we're going to take a look at it. I would like to know what is happening in this person's current life in their own life. You know, what? what's this tower? What's, let's just deal with the tower. I'm not gonna clarify all of it because I wanna take it to the extended, but Spirit, what, give me a little more clarity for my viewers who can't go to the extended. What does, what's this disruption? What's the disruption? Five of Pentacles. So going from the Four to the Five of Pentacles, isolated and alone. I think this person could have recently either had a, a another relationship breakup or a family dynamic that fell apart or they lost their job. But it feels like they're they're possessive of you and they're missing you. And there could have been a fight. We've got three fives now. Five, five, five. Major shifts and changes are necessary in this situation. So they're feeling alone. Why are they feeling alone, Spirit? Why are they feeling alone? Ten of Swords, Knight of Wands. Well, they're feeling alone because they've had a breakup, a, an, an ending or a disruption that was painful. It ended something and left them alone. God, I've been getting, and look at bottom of the deck is the 10 of wands. So I think something has happened in your person's life that ended. There's been an ending, whether that ending was through arguing and fighting with you that created an ending, and now they're looking to the future. But when they think of you, they have hope to manifest beyond this, this situation. They want to breathe life into it. So let's get you some advice. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm getting two stories here. Some of you, if, if this is somebody that, you know, cut you off. Somebody who said, I'm done. I can't live the way we've been living. I can't deal with all the arguing, the fighting, the comparison, the, the you know, whatever. Um, if you know that it's been a really, really rough, rocky road, and if there's, you know, something better that you think your person's after, because look at all the passion. We got the Knight of Wands, we got the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Queen of Wands.
And so I'm getting two stories. This, this could be that you and this person are done. You're over. Oh my God. And look at the card. I shuffled and look at the card that's on top. I didn't deal. I was going to deal and let one fall out. But here we have comparison. Here we have stop comparing. It says apples don't compete or apples don't compare themselves to oranges. Stars don't compete with other stars. They know there's room for all to shine in this ever expanding universe. So embrace your differences, celebrate your quirks and kinks, bring your fullest expression of self forward and champion others while when they do the same. Um, this person, I feel like they're protecting you from something else or someone else. I feel like they're getting out of a painful dynamic somewhere else, like a karmic connection. It doesn't have to be romantic, but there's something. And they've been feeling stuck for a while and now look at all this energy of freeing themselves, right? They're looking to the future. They're trying to make a decision. That decision feels like reconciliation. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should we? Is it best for us? There's still passion here. But see, the passion goes against this apathy. This apathy could have been you. You might have told this person, you might have turned them down with this Knight of Wands. They might have come at you in a very passionate way and you might have, it might have triggered you in some way and you turned them down and it was painful for them. You might have said some things that they didn't want to hear. I just, honestly, <laughs> am getting two stories. The most prevalent story I'm getting is somebody who is leaving another situation and now trying to manifest you back into their life. We have, look at passionate adventure and adventure awaits is what spirit chose for you. It says, break up your routine and live a little, sweetheart. It's time for some adventure. Plan a vacation, take a spontaneous drive, a change of pace and scenery will do you good. See apathy, four of cups. This person's bored with their life. When they think of you, they, they want to do something fun. Maybe they're literally thinking about traveling with you. Um, I think their life has been boring. And I think they're looking at other people's lives and saying, well, you know, I want that. And I, I do think that they're trying to, to um, decide who you are in their life because Six of Cups is like a soulmate energy. So it says... Uh, it's time for some adventure. Plan a vacation. Take a spontaneous drive. A change of pace and scenery will do you good. Plus, you never know whom you'll meet or what you'll experience along the way. A fabulous new friend or partner. A spectacular meal at a charming local joint. The Vista of Lifetime of Adventure awaits. So, you know, it could be that you met this person recently, too. It could be that their life was kind of doldrum <laughs> and, and boring and... I think they just ended some other cycle in their life. I think they've been needing a vacation with this heavy burdens, right? Now we got the King of Wands, Queen of Wands. I think that your person wants to explore life with you. I think that's what they're thinking about. I think that I'm not sure what this past energy is um, because it feels like the past for me. But it definitely created change in this, or this person's trying to manifest change. They don't like their life. They don't. They don't. They're feeling bored. They're feeling stuck. They're feeling uninspired. And they're looking for inspiration and clarity. And it feels like when they think of you, they're, they're trying to figure out why you feel like the Six of Cups. Are you a soulmate? Are you their person? Um, and if you're somebody from their past, because it's, a, it's a, a past energy, then, you know, maybe whatever life they created, they didn't like, and it's fallen apart. 
And now they're back to, to manifesting a new beginning because we have an ace. And they're including you in the vision for that. Because we go from the hangman in the upright to the hangman in reverse. This is somebody who gains clarity. And that's their next inspired action. It's really not an action, but it is when it's in the reverse. It's like, I'm not going to wait around anymore. I'm going to take inspired action. But there is instability currently in their life. All right, so this has been your reading, guys. I'm going to take this over to the extended. I'm going to kind of try and dig deeper into it because um, the, the biggest message I'm getting here is when they think of you, they think about having fun, going on adventures, traveling, seeing the world, um, creating a more fun life, creating change. Maybe they're tired of being alone and closed off. And maybe you coming along was just what they needed to shake things up and get them moving again. You'll have to let me know. Drop a comment. I love you. If this is where we part ways, um, please take this advice um, and, you know, use it with your own intuition. Never give your power away to a reader. And if you would like to go further into this, if this has been your story and it's really resonating with you and you would like to go over and... Uh, get messages from your person, love songs from your person, uh, spiritual advice on the situation with your person, then uh, follow me over to Patreon. The link is in the description box. All right. Namaste, guys.